Hello. Alright, we have uh, Android Revolution 10.0 running on HC1. And what's so special about Android Revolution 10.0? Well, I'll show you. 4.2.2. So it's still running since, okay, 5. But you are now running on the newest iteration of Jelly Bean 4.2.2. Um, AC1 got flack because it was released out of the box with 4.1.2 and I think a lot of people were disappointed because their competition, the Galaxy S4, um, came out of the box with 4.2.2 with TouchWiz. So, um, you know, it was one of those things where it's not a major difference, but there is, you know, there's always going to be people who want the latest and greatest and that's completely justifiable because with so many great phones out in the marketplace, uh, they really need to hone up on a lot of the little things on these devices if they really want to grab the mass market. Um, <clears throat> and HTC can ill afford to make any little mishap at this point um, with with the dire straits that they're in. So uh, if they want to catch up to Samsung, they want to be a player again uh, as to where they once were in the uh, smartphone industry, then they're going to have to do these little things um, a with a little more detail in my opinion. So with that said we got 4.2.2 so right off the bat um, you know just to point out some simple differences you got the notification tray which now has the secondary notification bar so um, it's not as heavy set or as uh, packed as what you get with the S4 because with the S4 you got a flurry of features um, that are on the uh, second uh, <coughs> second notification uh, tray, but with Sense, you're not going to get a lot of the uh, hoopla. You will more or less get um, a stock experience, almost stock experience. So I think that's pretty cool that you have that now with 4.2.2. Uh, it's really, really nicely, looks really good in my opinion. Um, it's, it's a little more fluid. It's a little more uh, responsive. It's got a little bit better in terms of animations has gotten a little bit better. Um, I will say that just the scrolling, for example, is a little bit faster. Scrolling on blink feed is just a little bit faster. So, you know, the little things, the little things, and uh, really that's something that I think is important, you know, with these devices and their day-to-day -day experience. So, you also now have the option in the past uh, with the HC1 with 4.1.2, in order to change the docks on, in order to change the icons on the dock, you would have to do do it through the app drawer. Whereas now you can actually just take the icon from the dock, remove it, and um, customize your dock as you so please. So uh, again, another little feature, uh, a little change, but it's it's important. And you can also, of course, create folders in the dock and uh, have fun doing that. So. Of course, you got the changes in the dock. They also have some changes in the settings. Um, I think the fonts are a little different. I think it's it's a little more bold than what it was on 4.1.1. I got I gotta uh, look that up um, because for whatever reason the text just looks a little more a little more bold-ish. But I don't know. I gotta check that out. So now you have um, daydreams. Let me just go ahead and pull this up here. Security? No. Get confused here with these. Uh, Oh, it's under Diplomacy. You get Daydream, okay? Um, so that's a 4.2.2 Jelly Bean feature, uh, Daydream. And, of course, you have the lock screen widgets, which for whatever reason at this point seem to be acting up a bit. But, um, you know, as soon as Mike, <coughs> of the uh, creator of Android Revolution, releases 10.1, I'm sure that'll be that'll be fixed. So it's, it's similar. You know, the lock screen, you get the uh, similar stock lock screen type deal with the widgets on the lock screen and whatnot but from what I heard you need a third party launcher at this point to, to really access that so I don't know how true that is I haven't really uh, gotten to the point of playing around with it that much um, you know I mean other than that it's really not very unchanged I mean uh, I'm trying to think of what else is different I, the browser is a little bit smoother the browser is a little bit smoother um, you know it's a little bit more responsive with the pinch zoom. Um, I, you know, I mean, it, it's again, it's so minor that I wouldn't even really know if it is much of a difference. But there you go. Uh, we got 
Android Revolution HD 10.0 running Jelly Bean 4.2.2. Really not much else to say here in regards to this. Uh, I haven't done a quadrant score yet. You know, maybe I can go ahead and... Eh, you know what? It's probably likely going to be the same. Let me actually see if my power... Oh, oh, also with the power saver, um, if you go into power in the settings, there's a show battery level. So you actually get the percentage now there, um, which is pretty cool. So show battery level is there. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, if anybody knows of any other differences that I haven't pointed out, please let me know what they are. Um, thank you guys for watching. I will be posting some videos soon of the Galaxy S4 with some um, baked in ROMs, including signage and mods. So I think that's pretty cool. I think, you know, honestly, uh, for all the people who are interested in these stock Nexus devices, you got the Nexus One or the One Nexus and the Galaxy Nexus or the Galaxy Nexus S4. And to me, it's kind of like, it's great that they're releasing these devices, but if you currently have an S4, you currently have a One, um, you know, you t take some solace in knowing that you really do have the best of both worlds because Cyanogen Mod, it's such a awesome, rock stable, uh, stock Android experience, in my opinion, exceeds the actual stock Android experience in many ways. Uh, it's easily uh, accessible in terms of rooting your phone and flashing the ROM. So I suggest looking into that if you're really, really dying for stock Android or you're kind of buying into all this hype, uh, check out CM10. Also for you HC1 users, I know they're nightlies right now, but they are very stable, even as nightlies. Nightlies meaning that they release um, new updates generally every night. So it's minor updates, but again, all, all little things that you'll notice um, when it's combined. Like if you in 4.1.2 uh, to 4.2.2 may not seem like a big difference to some, but believe it or not, with all the little things, um, bent, like with all the little things baked in, it really is different. So. Alright, thank you guys for watching and have a good weekend.